Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I will be doing an unboxing of the Zinlin X165. And now this is a little nano quadcopter. I mean, one thing that's really interesting about this, um, one of the reasons why I bought it is um, the design of it looks really, really cool, and also it's only $14.25. So, and I bought this from Gearbest, and it took about mm, two weeks to get here because small packages like this usually get here really quickly. So, let's just open this up. Ooh, the box looks really smashed up, the box is, um, but mm, I guess get a thumbnail there. So there we go, and this box is torn to pieces. So here we have everything. Here's the little user manual. Looks like the same as the CX-10, except it says Zinlin Shy up there. X-165, age is 14 plus though, on the little manual. And here we have a USB charging cable, however this one's different. It doesn't have the normal um, standard little plug, it has a barrel connector. So it looks to be the same as maybe the MJX X900 um, connector. And then here is the transmitter, um, typical standard nano transmitter it looks like, except maybe it has speaker holes down here. And um, you know the sticks, the sticks feel okay, they're a little stiff, they both click, no shoulder buttons, and the, the sticks are removable and the pad, the thumb pads are a little bit different than normal so I guess you know I'd be okay maybe for a pincher that box is just too... Um, so here we have some zip ties I should only have to do one get that there there we go and now here we have the quad let me arrange the props now as you can see this thing looks really cool. It's kind of like a mini, like I had the Lian Shang LS128 Skyhunter. It's kind of what it looks like with the design. I really like the way the arms look. It says um, mini quad on the side there. Glad it doesn't say mini drone. Um, but the body feels really fat and probably it feels pretty heavy for a nano so I'm not really too sure. Um, and here we have the back. You can see that barrel charge port and an on off switch. And it looks like we, the only LEDs are uh, two in the front eyes there, so not great on LEDs at all. I got the white version because I thought the LEDs, if there was any, would be good. And it looks like maybe the black version has red LEDs. Um, but yeah, overall it looks pretty cool right out of the box. I really like the design of this, and it's only $14.25. Um, so I'll get testing this. Um, please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.